Hello, a welcome everybody to my channel. Welcome Aries. How are you all doing? I am Tierica Love. I am here to bring you all your uh, monthly love messages for the month of March. Thank you all for joining me. If you all are new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy it here. Um, I hope you find some messages that will resonate with your situation. If you all are returning, thank you all for coming back. Um, I greatly appreciate that. And um, these messages may or may not resonate with every Aries and your situation here. When it comes to love and your connections. If you find that these messages do not resonate at all. You can check your moon, rising Venus. There you may find messages that resonate here. You can even cross watch. Okay. Alright Aries. Let's see what's going on in your connection. For the month of March. Aries and March. Hey, tell me about this Aries. Oops, who is this Aries in this connection? All right, Aries got the caregiver here. All right, so you um, are someone who loves nurtures um you could be a caregiver you know outside you know for work here but this is uh someone who not only cares for humankind here um but you could have a love for animals as well you just is uh in this caring kind of energy here all right you got romantic Aries here. So, um, a caregiver that is romantic here. <laughs> Alright, you got wound. Wounded. Alright, so Aries, you all could be someone who has been wounded in the past. Who is a bit wounded here. Alright. You got Scorpio. You could have um, some placement here in Scorpio. All right, Scorpio could be somewhere in your chart. All right, or you could just be in this energy um, as a Scorpio here. All right, then you got Achiever here, Aries. So you all are great achievers. You all, yep, that's the Aries for you. Um, go after what you want, and you pretty much, yep, you achieve your goals here. Okay, so you have an achiever who could possibly um, have Scorpio placements here or be in that energy who is wounded, but romantic and a caregiver. All right. All right. Tell me about Aries person here. All right. Got Earth here. You could be dealing with a Earth sign um, that is... Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus here. Or your person could be a bit stubborn here, maybe grounded, or um, maybe all about their pentacles here. Okay. You got chemistry here. So your person is um, someone that has a lot of chemistry. All right. Could be a lot of chemistry here within this connection. All right. Uh, you got higher self here. So your person is one that is wanting to think with their higher self. Maybe could be possibly uh, thinking with their higher self here. All right. You got the shadow king here. So your person have some things from the past that is um, maybe dimming their inner light here. Goodness gracious. Okay. And your person got the rebel here. So your person could be one in this ethic kind of attitude. Maybe one that does what they want to do. Say what they want to say. Um, okay. So you have a rebel maybe with a dark past. Um, where you're needing to listen to your higher self when it comes to... Um, 
this chemistry that you're feeling here uh, within this connection or hmm. okay let's get some messages more messages tell me about this Aries first messages for the Aries It's too many. Goodness. That's too many. Hold on. <laughs> All right. You got white flag here. So someone wants another chance to make things right. The desire to do things better here. So Aries, you could be wanting a second chance here within this connection. You are wanting to get things right here. All right. You got attract here. So Aries, you're needing to set your attentions high and know you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness here. Okay. So what you are is what you attract. All right. Um, you got new beginnings here. So letting go, change, time to move forward, ris risk and opportunities. All right. So you could be embarking on new beginnings, Aries, here. Um, all right. And you got red flag. Okay. So tune into the subtle energy you are receiving about this situation. Listen to the messages from your body. Trust your gut and your intuition here. All right. All right. So there could be some red flags. All right. So you want to pay attention to that. Listen to the messages from your body. Trust your intuition. All right. Okay. Let's see. Get some messages here for your person, Aries. Got stalemate here. So a stalemate situation. Someone needs to take decisive action here. So um, your person could be causing this connection to be at a stalemate right now because of um, not making decisions here. Okay. Got completion. Your person got completion. So um, that is like new beginnings as well or some things are coming to an end here all right could be the shadow king here the things from the past could be starting to come to an end all right let's hope okay we have separation here so surrender into your heart and divine source where there is no separation the highest levels of love always serve and are without conditions here and this is kind of like um the attract all right so your person as well is probably needing to know that they are attracting who they are as well um if you are feeling a bit of a separation of some sort you need to surrender into your heart and in divine source which is the most high which is God where there is no separation okay all right and got lessons of Saturn here Saturn is all about limitations um, control here so a soul's no limitations um, boundaries all right could be a bit controlling okay a soul's desire to resolve limiting patterns of control and dependency many challenges but can bring benevolent long-term rewards here okay so maybe your person is needing to um, learn to relinquish control here all right let's get the overall energy here of this connection with Aries and their person. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, got this mature woman. This could be you or your person. This is someone who is possibly fair haired, who is naturally intuitive, loves to travel and believes in herself and what she does. She is an entrepreneur, great mentor and a free spirit here. Okay, you needed to take some action here. All right. Um, got keep going. So don't stop now. Success is just around the corner. You will soon start to see the results of your commitment and consistent hard work. All right. Um, got health and healing here, Aries, and your person. Overall energy of the connection. Um, you all are needing to take care of your body. Take time to simply breathe deeply and relax. Maybe take a walk in nature. Meditate. Eat a healthier diet. Small changes will help make a big difference here. Okay. Um, you got focus on your priorities here. All right. So you are your person. You are spreading yourself too thin. Focus on what is a priority right now. And you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, know that you all are making progress here. All right. Okay. You got spirit guides. So that is listening to your intuition. All right. Um, pay attention to your dreams as your spirit guides are trying to communicate with you. Let them know that you are open to receiving their messages. Okay. And you got mindfulness here. So this is about rehashing, th rehashing things from the past. So stop rehashing or living in the past or worrying about the future. You're needing to seize every minute and engage with the present moment. That's all that matters here. All right. So if it's some things from the past um, that keeps coming up, you're needing to give it to the most high. Uh, focus on your priorities. This will help bring health and healing into, you know, meditate and um take care of your mind and your body um yep this will help bring health and healing you need to keep going okay um put towards some action here it could be towards yourself or um your person or the both okay all right let's see what's going on here in this connection Alright, what is going on in this connection with the Aries and their person? Okay, got the high priestess here. All right, so situation here. Um, you could be receiving some spiritual insight here. Um, one of you in this connection could be very intuitive here. Um, let's see. Clarify the high priestess, please. Someone could be full of mystery here. All right, got the five of pen pentacles. So clarifying the high priestess uh, situation. Someone is in this connection is kind of like in this lack mindset, having a lack mindset, maybe feeling abandoned here. Um, if it's in regards to your pentacles, could be feeling financial loss. All right. Um, okay. Let's see the action for this Aries in that person here. Oh my goodness. Okay, you got the King of Pentacles. So someone is you know, focused on their pentacles here. Um, could be this provider within the connection. Um, clarifying the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles, that's Capricorn energy here. Um, you wanted to start something new here. Okay, new opportunities. You're wanting new opportunities here. The action that will be taken is giving birth to to something new here. Okay, wanting abundance to come in. All right, 
you got the chariot here so this is forward movement um having a willpower to move forward and progress here okay got the outcome you got the star here so um having hope and faith and being optimistic towards the future here towards the connection okay clarifying um the star it could be you need to have hope and faith when it comes to some type of conflict here some type of struggle within this connection okay Do you have any more on the outcome okay you got the eight of swords so yep yeah, uh just I want to keep praying about it. All right. Um, you could be in this energy of feeling a lot of fear, uh, feeling anxiety, maybe uh, feeling mentally entrapped here, um, not knowing which way you're wanting to go because of conflict here. You're needing to keep your hope and keep faith of life alive here all right be optimistic okay let's read the energies here of the cards we got gemini energy we have leo um aquarius cancer taurus and libra capricorn uh taurus again and cancer again okay all right let's get some Clarification here on the situation, action, outcome for Aries and their person. Goodness. find the situation for Aries and their person this high priestess in five of Pentacles you got cleanse here this was the first one that was turned over okay so release what no longer serves you all right um, when it's needed to cleanse maybe their mind cleanse their energy here um, to come out of this energy of maybe feeling abandoned having this lack mindset all right um, twin flames popped out here. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone um, that you have a strong spiritual tie to here. Okay, could be dealing with your twin flame. All right, clarifying the action. We got on the pedestal here. So does this hurt the situation? So one could be in this connection, maybe on the edge here maybe not knowing um what to do maybe got one foot in one foot out um all right it got given a gift so the action that will be taking you or your person you will be giving your person a gift or your person will be um giving you a gift here all right i could be receiving a gift of some sort here okay um action you got relationship abuse so you are in your or your person could be in this toxic relationship uh could be a toxic relationship that is causing maybe a stalemate energy here um maybe toxic toxic relationship from the past here okay which is the cleansing needing to cleanse all right so you can move forward okay clarifying the outcome got proposal here all right so somebody with that white flag is wanting a second chance here okay got money issues so uh preventing money issues is preventing me from asking you out all right um so I guess we need to focus on our priorities here so the finances won't be preventing forward movement all right and got some heartbreak here all right so this could be somebody up that you're connected to but um clarifying the outcome got some money issues maybe that will be causing 
some type of heartbreak, uh, release pain, and try working on healing your heart or heal your heart here. Okay, and release, cleanse. Okay, uh, start rehashing things from the past here. All right. Uh, okay. Hold on, y'all, for one second. All right, so let's see. Messages here for Aries and their person. You got denial here. So someone is needed to detach with love to clearly see the truth here. So someone could be in denial. Maybe uh, not realizing that their feelings has actually grown here um i don't know what i was finna say y'all okay <laughs> you got spiritual lesson so this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson here all right uh you all got rejection okay so this rejection is actually divine protection okay got true love here so this love is emotional physical and unconditional there just is some obstacles here some unhealed wounds um which is blocking for movement all right so i guess we want to work on healing um yep got finances again so financial challenges are affecting this connection all right so maybe if we start to focus or put some action towards health and healing and keep going and focus on the priorities here, um, then and not rehashing things from the past, then we can start to really uh, work on becoming financially stable here, um, not allowing your finances to step you know within the connection okay um because two people together can help build here all right you won't be stressing about the finances if you got the right one and you all are working together all right all right so um aries i hope that these messages was helpful will be helpful um is helpful Let's see. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all much love, much light, much positivity. Thank you all for joining me. If these messages resonated, uh, please give me a like, subscribe, share, comment. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Okay. Bye.